Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we are playing as that good old CSA and we are considered a great power, 7th in the world with America. Well, apparently, or the United States of America, I should really say, ninth in the world. We have a couple comments to go through, but then we're going to go straight to war with the USA. Alright, so, uh, basically, some of the comments just were talking about California and Texas. T California seceded with us. Wow, look at that culture. Holy crap, Portuguese, oh god, Albanians, Polish, Slovaks, Irish, U Ukrainians, Lithuanians, Na Nahua, Native American Minor, Yankee, Dixie, Mexican, uh, Afro-American, makes, which makes sense, North Italian, Catalan, god dang, but yeah, um, t California seceded with us, but Texas stayed home, which is kind of disappointing, but that's alright, especially since we have, um, for us, Texan, as a literal core part of the part of our population, which is very weird to see that they didn't come with us, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Um, they got a lot of Cherokee Native American miners here in Oklahoma, which is disappointing that they didn't, they didn't come with us, but after looking at all this stuff, they're almost, none of them are Yankee culture, so actually, Texas still has cores in Oklahoma too, which I guess makes sense, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. They can't have it unless they want to try to fight us for it, but look at that. Which, which area of California was this? Look at this part of California. Yankee, afro Antillian, Finnish, no one's assimilating. Assyrian, Bosniak, Tatars, North Germans. What is Aromanian? Aromanian? What is that? Orthodox? Cool. But anyways, uh, so a lot of people also said to arms and Dixie. Absolutely. What? How did Canada get Alaska? This cannot stand. I swear to God, this cannot stand. Did they? The Russia sell Alaska? To Canada? Oh, you know, this is a messed up timeline. I mean, it's one thing the CSA wins, but them getting Alaska? Oh, we're going to kill Canada. But also, I do want to show you the wars, what's going on right now before we do anything else. I guess Iraq is getting conquered. We did have Mesopotamia here, but apparently... That's a really big Mesopotamia, but the Ottomans don't like them, so... Yeah, they have a score of one. They're probably going to lose. That sucks. What, what do they want? Just fully annex them. Okay. French war to humiliate Korea... And then we also have the Russian Empire wants to annex Congress Poland. Um, okay, well, good luck. The British and the Pol... Oh, this is a little bit too early for us. The British are already guaranteeing the Polish independence. Okay, sure, why not? You gotta love Vicky 2, right? I love Vicky 2. This is one of my favorite games of all time. But anyways, and someone also said in the comments from the last video that the Confederacy is far too north for his liking. I'm sorry, but don't you know that Michigan is a core part of Dixie, you know, culture and land? As well as Minnesota and Wisconsin. This is naturally part of Dixie. What do you mean? But we're going to do the unthinkable and go to war with America already. I want to acquire, acquire American cores. Acquiring our cores would be nice and all. But American cores? Actually, yeah, we have Cuba here too. Um, I kind of want Texas. That gives them more cover population. Now, if we go to war, we will get everyone except for Venezuela. Which apparently has a truce with the United States. So, uh, for that, uh, I'll double check that. So that's good to see. That's good to see. Uh, we're probably going to need more money. And I'll raise up tariffs quite a bit so far, but it's alright. Just because we need to. Let's get Texas. We're fighting for Texan independence here. Cool. We'll go to war with them. Now, the way I set this up, <laughs> it says war over there, uh, is that, okay, so we have 30,000 soldiers. I want to bait the enemies into attacking our general here. And we have Stonewall Jackson here, so he's plus 5 defense. That is extremely good. Wheeling? Cool. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully they come attack us, but we'll see what happens. France is under the alliance, as well as Brazil and Los Altos. And we do have an extra army around here, too. We should be able to hopefully beat up the Mexican armies, but you never know. So, if that's the case, I'd love to take out Washington, but we're going to have to play this a little bit carefully here. Our navy isn't super great, but it is what it is. Oh, where are they going? Where? Hagerstown? And you guys are level plus four defense. There's nothing to laugh at either, so. Um, get you guys, get, get ready to go. Because they're going to start attacking us. And is this hills? Is this mountains or anything like that? It is hills. So you don't get really a big of a bonus here. Oh, no, they're actually leaving. They're going to Pittsburgh. Okay, well, that's interesting to see. Get rid of it. If we burn Washington down to the ground again, they might be okay. Um, They started mobilizing. We might have to mobilize as well. And we're fighting Mexico too. I really don't want to have to mobilize. If we have to, we will. Uh, They do have quite a... Oh, that's a big fleet. That's a big fleet. Uh, what was I thinking of? I, there's one thing I could do immediately that I can't remember what I was going to do. Oh, I remember. Uh, during the war, we're going to continually add more war goals because I want to kill off America as fast as possible. Alright, we got Wheeling. Burn down Washington again, I guess. They really don't want to attack us. Alright. 
Albuquerque is being becoming to get occupied. It is what it is. Uh, we should be able to beat the Mexicans if we're fast enough. They don't have a lot of organization currently. Actually, who do I send over here? Pettigrew, he's pretty good on attacking defense. Just gotta keep an eye on where those stupid American divisions are. And can we add a war goal yet? Nope. Texan is a core part of the population. And we've got Washington, D.C. down again. Good. Hopefully France can come help us out sometime, but excellent mechanized mining. Mother, mother, father says that they've got new tools in the mine. With the invention of the machine tools, mines are slowly being fitted with new and efficient tools to aid the excavation of the slumbering riches below the surface. Mine efficiency and size has been increased in Lake Charles on account of this. Awesome. Expedition returns again. Spend some more money. That's okay with us. Peru. Uh, Peru, Peru. Add our sphere. Well, we can't burn Washington again, but we could try something, maybe. Alright, Congress Poland goes bankrupt. Kind of was expecting that one, but okay. Hey, look. Come on in, guys. Try to help them out. You're gonna lose. Uh, where are they going? Are they going to Wheeling? Interesting. We are in the mountains here, so... And we lost the battle because I didn't think our fleet was really that good. So, whatever. I don't, I'm not really disappointed by that. Hey, you find some American divisions, you kill them. Where are they headed to? Cleveland? Ooh, we gotta be careful of how many divisions they do have, so... If we're in the mountains, we'll probably win. Yeah, they're moving around a whole bunch here, but whatever. Uh, they can take out... Honestly, I'm going to use the west as kind of like the... An empty ground. What happens there is what happens there. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so who's here? Laf Lafayette Banks. Alright. Eh, we're still beating them up here. We're hopefully going to be starting to siege them there. Uh, don't lose here yet. We can move these guys around just in case. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. They are sieging things down a little bit. It is, we just killed off 2,000 men. Very nice. And if these guys get attacked, well, we can move these guys around a little bit better than this. Yes, Peru. Yes, we'll gladly accept you into here. Uh, call the ally in. Ooh, we're not a leader. We cannot call allies in. God dang it. Well, we got 17% so far. That ain't too bad. We do have the enemy capital, so that does help out. Are they going to attack us anywhere? Yes, they are, which is not good. One more day there. Get over here quickly. Defend, defend, defend Buffalo. Nice. We just killed off 9,000 Americans because we have to. And you guys are going to head over here. Uh, and segregation? Uh, I don't really care too much. It doesn't matter. Okay, one... Oh, oh, whoa. One army. All I did was one army, and they killed off thousands of people. I just reinforced the position here. Oh, they're sending another army in. Um, I don't know how strong their attack is. This guy's attack is really good, though. Think. Oh! Oh, dang it! Oh, we pieced him out already? Oh, man. Oh, we created a state in Texas. That's fine. God dang it. Uh, next time, I'm not going to call in the French. That was a waste of time, then. Uh, that is so disgusting. Yeah, next time, we will just go to war with these guys, then. But you know what? We didn't need to mobilize that time. We didn't mobilize at all, which is great. So that shows you how strong we are as a nation. Norfolk still with, which means right now, actually I'm going to leave you guys to do this. Uh, head on down there. America is not as strong as it really should be, which is good to see. Which is really good to see. Give me a little Seattle infantry. Send them over to Staunton or something. So during this time, next, okay, so the next war we're going to do for this episode, we are just going to go ahead and just beat the living crap out of America again, even more efficiently than last time. So, ooh, tariffs are not looking too good, though. We need, we definitely need, need a few more dollars, but we're making a few more dollars now. Um, yeah, it's actually really good. And by getting Texas back, we got more population we can use. Core population, I should really add to that. And, yeah, and more money. Texas is extremely valuable. And since we won, we got hopefully some more prestige and lower their prestige as well. We burned the capital down? Eh, maybe not too much, but, yeah, you never know. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, you're just running out of guys. Actually, do that. That's why I want to send that extra 3,000 soldiers over here. There you go. And since so we're here, and actually because of that, we actually united our region here. So we can actually send soldiers from the West Coast over here as well. So let's make another army because we love Dixie Infantry. One, two, three, four, and get number five Arenos. And we're going to start African American. Uh, I'm going to maybe wait. Can we actually assimilate African Americans here? I don't know. Maybe not. That'd be kind of cool though. People are assimilating to Texan, which is kind of cool. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll wait and see. Oh, and there's one up here too. Nice. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. I know the Americans are going to be... The North Americans, we're going to call them like that or something like that. Not going to be easy, but it's alright. Alright, so how's North Carolina? Are they finally there? No, oh, God, no, they're not. 
Uh, South Carolina intellectuals are almost there. They're taking so long. Iowa and Minnesota. Close, close, but not really. Nice. All right, so before we get too far, immigration is very similar to both of us. I wish I got a cube. I, that was a mistake by me. That was a complete mistake by me, in which I, we did not yet get Cuba. I should not have called in the French. The French are useless. We should have had a higher score than them. Ooh, we're only 8th in the world, huh? That's not good. But we're building up a bigger military. And we need to take out more people. So, I guess it's time to come down to Central America, right? Costa Rica. Oh, I want to conquest you, but that's 22 for me. Oh, uh, if we're at peace, we can get that done, cut down quite a bit faster. And by being at peace, we'll probably get a lot more immigration anyway, so. Nope, I got big plans for y'all down here. Huge plans. Mammoth plans. Cool, and combined. Thank you very much. Uh, we probably actually need to build up... Actually, who's over here? Yeah, set, keep him there. That's really, really good. We're going to need a few more ships as well. Uh, steam transports. We definitely got to get some more naval tech stuff done, but... Southern Hospitality, if you'd like to read about that again, please go right ahead. Um, see, more assimilation, but less immigrant attraction. I really want to assimilate. But we get more prestige, though. Less assimilation rate, but more immigrant attraction. Well, if we get more immigrants now, we don't can't assimilate them. We can still assimilate them later on. Uh, we get more plurality. How much plurality do we have? That's a good question to ask, actually. Where's plurality? It's center politics. Yeah, we can use a little more plurality. And revanchism? You betcha. Let's get more plurality. That'd be nice. And we're trying to get more research points anyway, so. Hey, look! They were beaten again, so they got some Jacobin rebels. Not bad. I think in the next war, we'll take Cuba. I, Cuba it can be extremely good for us. Since we have Carabino, Carabino, um, accepted cultures, so that'd be very good. I don't mind lowering tariffs, too, eventually, too, so. Costa Rica fears were coming. Not bad, not bad. Well, actually, those fears aren't unfounded, actually. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, we need more transports. God dang it. Ah, that's okay. We'll get there eventually. So, France was nice and all, but they take so long doing their stuff, man. Increase relations with everyone else that we possible. Okay, we have, re we have really good relations. Oh, my God. We got some really good... Oh, we're actually going to be losing a great power status, huh? Well, I guess after this, we're going to go for more prestige. Apache Raiders, I've read about that before. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Yeah, we're barely hanging on to here for right now. We gotta really increase the military score. Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, we were close. Now two Sicilies even worse. Okay, uh, that makes me feel a little bit better. There you go. Cool. All right, keep making them shippies, and keep getting some more intellectuals. My goodness. My flipping goodness. Even though we have slavery here, the people still love us here. They still love us. <gasps> we got more population. Look at that. Now we can do another one of these guys. What is this? 70, 80. My goodness, this takes so long to get more bureaucrats here. My goodness. Why do you suck? How many ships? We need at least 10. Um, can we build up our ports bigger? I, we could call another election, but at this point, the voters are very conservative. We could hold it, hold it, I guess. A uh, Texas could probably use a stock exchange. Selling Greenwood and Burns at 7976. Buying at 9.5. Atman and Sons, 8.12. Selling, selling local businessmen. In one of our provinces, to form a joint venture stock company to establish a local stock exchange primarily aimed at the commodity trade. The venture will doubtless increase local productive efforts. Nice. Great. And we got more research points, which is extremely important to get. Ah, uh, it's okay. We can focus more on our military stuff. We will against. Oh, angry against the government. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Um, we did need stream turbine. Revolution and counter revolution would be very good to get. But it wouldn't, it would help us, I will say that, but. Because we j literally just got another one of our focuses. That wouldn't really do too much. I love doing social sciences, though. That'd be really good for us. But. Uh, we need iron steamers. We need, we need, we definitely need iron steamers. What was the thing I wanted us to do and get? We need bigger ships. We need just more ships, period. Steel railroads. Getting more roads would be nice. Machine tools. All this stuff would be really good. We definitely need the steam turbine. Do we get any new events here, maybe? Really into industrial complex. Be begin the golden circle. So we'll, we'll do that definitely next time. So. Reinstate the Atlantic slave trade. Cool. But we still want to build the Panama Canal. So we need steam turbines and iron steamers. Steam turbines and iron steamers. Hmm. Steam turbines. Or... Yeah, this one's done pretty quickly, and we can build ironclads and torpedo boats, which is not bad. 
And I might just avoid the whole naval thing until we get dreadnoughts, though. So let's do steam turbines first. As much as I want organic chemistry and all that good stuff. I think we're just going to have to wait. Ooh, that's not good. Wow! Look at New Mexico! Look at the culture! What the heck is happening around here? We got all sorts of people here. Holy crud. Full citizenship, please. Thank you. The slavery debate. We will not reform slavery laws. Are you crazy? We have Armenians. And what is over here? New upper house, okay. Exploding Snoopy. Mother, mother, have you heard the sounds and booms echoing from the mine? This is a new type of explosive. The introduction of natural glycerin with its ability to dig deeper into the mine shafts than ever before. And Dupree means that local mining industries increase its output several times over. Slovaks, Bosniaks, Galicians, and I don't want to forget, we got to do this before they get sphered by somebody else. And we have more than enough infamy to do this now, so that's really good. Keep an eye on this. Come on, guys, please hurry up with this. And we get found out almost immediately, but whatever. Modern archaeology. Very good, very good. Oh, look at that. Stock exchange. Nice. Very nice. So now we should have enough guys to throw you all down south. Our ships look really bad. Holy crap. If that's the case, I don't mind maybe spending a little bit more on our ships for now. Now we're sixth place in the world. Nice. Uh, don't tax them more. I want to get a few more of the things. There you go. Spend that if you need to. Uh, let's lower our militancy and nonsense. Interventionism. Eh, it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, what is that? Uh, let's do this one first. Two Sicilies, cool. And Japan. Wait. Yeah, we're six in the world. Wait, it says six, but one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, all right, whatever. That's us. I would have formed an alliance with them. Military access, they would not accept. The Ottoman Empire, hello. Actually, can we sphere the Ottomans? That'd be really cool. Request for privacy. What is everyone staring at me when I make my vote? Do I really need to know? Do they really need to know? It's not like I'm committing a crime or something. I simply want to vote in peace. Well, having half of the polling station looking at me, that is. Oh, what do we like to look at you? Maybe you're very pretty. Ghost and Rican Menace, nice. Very nice, very nice. And the boats have made it down here. We only need one army probably for this group, so... Oh, yeah, we can come up there too. Ah, uh, very good. Uh, there's probably an easier way for us to actually do this. I forget how the whole Golden Circle thing works. We do have the money for it, though, which is good. Um, let's keep looking at our population. Conservative and reactionaries. God dang it. Sometimes you want to be conservative. Other times you really don't. Why? Why must you pay me so? Come on, voters. I, we Even making them liberal will do nothing. Reactionary is really where it's at. But, hey, we're just making a lot of money, I guess. I guess that's, that's nice. Cool. And send you guys back. Uh, send you back. Uh, actually, right there. Actually, I want to make more divisions... Okay, so it was actually over here that we're doing it. Okay, that's fine. Um, do that. You guys go over here. We need one more infantry, which I'll just show you right from here. Get one more. There you go. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. The Costa Rican Menace. Nice, 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 nice. And you guys head on over here to David. Very good. Do they have roads? They do have some roads. Wow. God, yeah, we definitely need more assimilation here. Ah. Uh. I love residency, but I love full citizenship much more. Really, socialist is probably the way to go for now. A way more assimilation rate, militancy for non-aligned, or non-accepted, I mean. And all cultures can vote, which might not be a good thing, but... Cholera. The defining symptom of cholera is an exhaustive diarrhea, rendering the disease almost completely incapable of retaining fluid in severe forms. The disease can cause death within a few days of the first symptoms, making it one of the most rapidly fatal illnesses known to man. Today we received a dispatch from one of our provinces, confirming early reports that the disease has indeed broken out there. Quarantine the province. There's nothing we can do. Quarantine it. We have a lot of money too, which is nice. I'm going to lower tariffs though. Make it cheaper for guys to buy goods and such. An, a black abolitionist? Let him talk. That's okay. Let him talk. We'll get more prestige that way. We need more prestige. And now we drop down a little bit more. Austria Hungary. Hello. Where is America in all this? And how much longer do we have to wait to, before we go to war? Actually, I do like that we have a person up here too. Let's see. Just one person. That kind of sucks. But hey, I've got the money for right now. Let's build some forts. Cool. And we should still be building more units, right? No? Oh, I guess we're not. Staunton. There you go. Yeah. So that's one. We need... Four more cannons. One, two, and three, and four. There you go. Another full army. Beautiful. Lockout. 
Capitalism in one of our states has called for a lockout following a period of intensifying labor conflicts in the area. Workers have been informed by management that no one is welcome back to work while union sympathies still run high among the employed. Local police have expressed support for the move, citing a long series of disturbances at the factory, some even boring on sabotage. Loose plurality. Do we become more... Con we get more, become more... Instead of socialists, we become more reactionary. I kind of like that. There we go. Now we can do this. Do an order immediately. Call all allies. Nope. It's fine. Are we fighting Guatemala? I guess so. That's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Let's get some iron steamers next. I want... Because getting the Panama Canal done gives you a lot of prestige. So... And this will be good for our ships anyway, so... Shouldn't last too long, and then we'll go back to war with America next. And we're back down. But once we take this nation out, then we'll get even more prestige. But happy 1873, my friends. I can't wait till the Great Wars. It'll be hopefully a fun old time. Oh, we can build this up a little more. That's good. What is this? Oh, we lost one of our ships. Wait, can her... Wait, why do we lose one of the ships? All I want are a lot of transports. That's all I care about. Mechanized mining, cool. Labor, mechanized labor, very cool. And actually, we're going to send you down south because we need to shift this army over a little bit more. Uh, actually, we could probably just send you guys. There you go. Come over here. We'll take out Guatemala, too. Cultural enrichment, yes. More plurality, more prestige is always extremely important. And we won. And, of course, we can extend slavery. Uh, we have a truce with them until 76. So, really, if we get under infamy a little bit more... We might just be able... Oh, we just peace out with all of them. We might actually be able to go to war with another Central American miner. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, everyone. So we can now do build the Panama Canal. Proposals for a canal across the Panama Isthmus probably date back to the first discovery of the area. Nowhere is a strip of land that unites North and South American continents thinner than here. And <clears throat> with the aid of modern engineering, we could shorten the travel times between the Atlantic and the Pacific by several days by building it. Reserve at least 1900 before starting construction. Uh, well, I guess 1.9 million. Hmm. This could go very poorly for us. Oh, well. And besides, we have to, we gotta wait anyways for us to, uh, I guess lower the infamy. But we can go to war now with the Nicaraguans, which, well. I thought I, oh, we're 80%. Okay, so actually I was caught. As you see, our infamy is now 21.52, but I was caught earlier, so about two more months. Which is totally fine. We're going to need a lot of money, though. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to be calculated. We need 1.9 million pounds? Uh, I'm not really sure. And also, we're doing army risk management over here. Because I've heard that uh, the one to the right here is the most important one. All these are really good to get, but the one on the right to get more morale and military, especially military tactics, is very, very important. So, And that's why I just kind of usually gear towards ourselves for that one. Um, anything else going on in Europe, really? Not too much. There we go. Uh, Germany and, or North German Federation was fighting the Bavarians, but I think they just white pieced out. Austria is trying to fight France. Actually, let's take a look here. Show wars, acquisition, acquisition of Dutch Sulawesi. French restoration of order to the Austrian provinces. That's not good. Uh, Bavarian Palatinate. Oh, that's really not good. Persian control of the conquest of Mosul. Oh, also, Serbia got a little bigger than normal. Serbia now owns Bosnia and Herzegovina. Go figure. Really, just go figure. So, uh, yeah. And Romania is looking very ugly as well, but, you know, it is what it is. Sicily and Sardinia and Piedmont is looking pretty okay. Other than that, not too much else. The Ottomans are struggling. The British already built the Suez Canal, which kind of sucks for us. Abyssinia exists. And, oh, I should have went to China. I should go to China. We should go to China. Oh, can we get a, ooh, sub-state place in the sun. What else do we have? Release puppet, take puppet. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. 4 and F Infamy, Liberate and Puppet Country, Demand Concession, oh man, maybe we should try that sometime. But we'll see, Confederate China, sounds really cool to me, but hopefully no one gets involved here, except for the few people that we have down here. Now, I can probably wait to do all this stuff, but, especially when we do the Golden Circle stuff, but we have to wait to go to War with America again anyways, and I've been building up more armies anyway, so that'll be nice. And then, we're, here we go, nice. Segregation? Eh, segregation is, is what it is. How does the money system work then for the Panama Canal? Is it just like every once in a while to ask for more money maybe? I I honestly have no idea. Oh, the British got involved. Um, if that's the case, we're still allied with the French, right? Oh, it sucks. Hmm. 
Well, I don't really want to fight the British. But if they start coming over here, we'll start killing them off if we have to. You know, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because they could send a lot of guys over. Maybe we can beat them up. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Can we beat up the British already? Actually, we try to call them in, right? Uh, where are we? We are here. And show wars. Our allies are you guys. Call ally, yes. Are you guys Brazil, yes. If people don't want to accept, you know, so be it then. Well, so be it. The National Rifle Association. Founded in 1871, the National Rifle Association was originally a set of shooting clubs organized to prove the marksmanship of American soldiers. After the Civil War, it was noted that few shots fired actually hit the target, so improved drill was in order. These shooting clubs imp improved skilled firearms and contributed to the military as a whole, moving away from the classic style of rank-and-file warfare, which put focus on volume of fire rather than accuracy. Within a few decades, firearms and marksmanship became a proud part of the country's culture. These clubs will help the sorry state of our army win its prestige. That'd be really good to do. And then shut it down. If they want arms, let them become soldiers. Now nah, we got need we know those guys. Oh, so I forgot too that uh Oh, we're not at war with Canada. I thought we'd be at war with Canada at the same time, but apparently we are not, which is actually okay with us. Uh stay here near Greenville. The Brits might be coming in someday, so we gotta be ready for them. Uh Britain, why do you have to get involved? It's a mistake for you to get it's really a massive mistake for you to get involved. So let's just take these guys out. Peace them out, and hopefully we'll do okay. I mean, they can send a lot of guys over if they really want to, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, France, would you like an alliance? No. Okay, well, increase the relations anyways. You guys, would you like an alliance? Probably not. Germany probably doesn't want an alliance either, so we're kind of alone for now, which kind of sucks. Bavaria? No? Okay. And Austria-Hungary. Everyone really likes us, though. But they don't want an alliance. Kind of sucks. There you go. Oh, they have rebels down there, too. But we do, we do have a lot of money. Actually, just in case, spend more money then. Sure. Thank you very much. And, of course, we extend slavery, which is fine with us. And we have a white peace. So, actually, going to war, I was worried that we had to fight them. We actually did very well. They did very, 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 very well. So, I'm not too worried about that then. We're good. And, actually, let's go and get rid of one of these cannons, because Chattanooga doesn't have enough soldiers for that. You guys come over here and kind of patrol the area. And we'll build a cannon. I would say that went extremely well. We actually beat the British. You can think of it like that. Peru, you've shown your colors, so go screw yourself, Peru. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll take Portugal. We were fighting against them when we were fighting with... Oh, see, look, they're allied to the Americans still. Now, the Americans might be... Eh, they might not be... How strong are they? Oh, they're seventh. They're secondary power, though. Huh. <laughs> not for long, my friends. Not for... Oh, they actually showed up. Well, it's a little late for you guys to show up, I'll be honest. Um, hmm. All right, well. Y'all made a choice. Do we have... Ah, we need another cannon here. Do we have a cannon coming in? Puerto Lampera? No, not quite a cannon unit. Cannon? Cool! Segregation? They must be integrated. Yes, keep integrating. How much... We're still getting quite a few immigrants. Spanish Galicia. Uh... Fine, you know what? We'll accept you this time. Uh... What's going on here, guys? Galicia. Uh... Oh, what? what? Okay, a lot of things are happening. We got more socialist support. Reactionary conservative are by far the most overwhelming stuff. They have a white piece out. Happy 75 to Los Altos. Fine, you pieces of garbage. I'm still going to call you in, though. Actually, we delete you. Can we actually place you with a cannon? We actually will be able to. Good, 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 good. Head on down here, then. I gotta use them against Brazil, maybe, too. It's fine, whatever. Uh... Wait. Oh, America's at war, then. Nice. Suppress this? No. Incident in Nicaragua? Oh, no incident down here. No, 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 no. Fine. Uh, we'll take everybody, because... Uh, except France. It's always good to have a backup ally, but whatever. I don't really care. Still, fifth most prestigious nation in the world. You want alliance? No, probably not. austria hungary is eighth. Germany is fourth, which is actually pretty sad. Nice. We got some of that do stuff done, though. That's very good. Uh, we can do a lot of stuff here. I really want to do... Organic chemistry, though, I think that'd be really cool. Let's get let's get that one, and maybe get some clean coal. Sympathy strike. More socialist. Um, uh, I don't want to lose plurality, so I think that'd be better for now. All right, and the Ottoman Empire needs to be more influenced. But it is seventy-five already. I think it's best for us to wait. For us to go to war with the Americans. 
We have a truce with them until January 2nd. So we have less than a year until we have to go to war with them. And we're already building up our guys more and more and more. So I think that'll be good just to wait. Get everyone into the alliance, except for... What are you guys doing over here? Who are you fighting? And we're still trying to get some more intellectuals in parts of the South, because, man, the South does not want to learn. Woo! Baby, come on, guys. Please learn. Please learn. You're 3.8%. That's good enough for now. Tennessee is 3.6. Georgia is 1.7. Intellectuals, please. Thank you from North Carolina. And Kentucky, that's actually not too bad either. Wisconsin, you take so long to get more bureaucrats. Why? Oh, also, let's take a look at nationality. So, as you can see, like last episode, we... From last episode, we even have way more Dixie culture now, especially in the Midwest. There's still some Dakota up here, but even in the, on the West Coast, it's looking quite a bit better for Dixie culture, which is awesome. And let's see. Ooh, Tennessee is slowly converting as well. It used to be much more Yankee here, but they've chosen the right culture to go around with, and uh, that's not too bad. That's actually really cool. Now, there's still way too Yankee up here in uh, Michigan, but that's all right. We'll fix that. Cool. Foreign cuisine? Pasta, pasta, pasta. And the total population is what? 18 million people, which is not too bad. I do notice that they have a lot of people here. John Solomon. Uh, we saw him here, so if they attack us, I want them to attack us here, because we I'm still going to use that same strategy we, we just had. So Actually, for now, we can cut down on the spending probably a little bit. Save a little bit of money for now. that would be worth it. We can get some ironclads as well if we really want to. I guess we could probably build a few. Well, I guess we don't have a port that can build them up, do we? We need bigger naval ports, so we can't even build them up, so. Workforce, a lot of slaves. Actually, do we have any? We got 20% of our population is slaves. We don't have any industrial slaves yet. But, 40, almost half of our population is Dixie, which is kind of cool. Which is pretty darn cool. Alright, you are done. Hello! Oh, America has rebels. Ooh, what type of rebels do they have? I mean, the rebels are going to die, but hey, if you weaken Americans, that way, do it. Wait, they decided to seize the means of production? No more will the foreign dog grow fat off the sweat of our people. The time is coming to seize all assets owned by outsiders to be cared for by the... Oh. Wait, what happened there? Wait, what? Dallas? Wait, we have rebels. Hmm. Go get them, boys. Go get them. Okay, and... Oh, austria hungary is no longer great power. Has it been replaced by America? Makes sense. Oh, uh, we, technically we can go to war, but then look at that prestige we get hit. We get a lot of infamy, so that's why we don't want to do it yet. No, 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 no. Oh, Germany came up here too. Uh, military access? No? Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. We do have to... Ah, we really do need another army down here too, so... You guys head down to Texas, just in case. And let's build up another army if we can. Because we love building armies here. Alright, who do we have? Dixie Infantry, so let's go with cannons. One, one, two... Three, Portland artillery. Four, the Americans are up there, which is very weird. We have one infantry, so that makes it two, three, four, and we really could use some engineers. Nice, another full army, and we still have one left over in Asheville. It's a really nice place, Asheville. So we go back to war with the Americans. Our navy is going to suck still, but whatever. I don't really care about that. I just burned down Washington again. Immigrant riots. Uh, listen to the grievances. Why not? They can have their problems if they want it. And we'll beat up some Mexicans too, so. Actually, we can... Can we ping Mexicans from two sides? Hmm. And you have artillery issues? Not any longer. There you go. Nice. San Pedro Solo? Oh, look at all these guys down here. Ah, we got Jews. We've got Polish people. We've got Lithuanians and Irish people. Nice. Very cool. But really, I, I want to... I don't really care about this mess here too much, I'll be honest. I really care about... You know what? Maybe we can take off at least West Virginia. I think getting more Dixie soldiers here would be good. And maybe we can take Chicago because they have a lot of coal. That's not bad. I like that idea. We'll see how far we can get, though. Obviously, like, it's always good to plan ahead. But you never know what, what we're really going to need. And then that... Oh, they're socialist, huh? Actually, what's their population like now? They're a little bit more socialist, which is not bad. Alternative plans. More speed is good. Very, very, very good. We can enact women's suffrage, but why would we do that? Oh, Expedition of Black Hills. Oh, what is that? Rapid City units in Rapid City. Wait, what? Rapid City units in Rapid City. Put here. Rapid City. Um, come over here, guys. See what we can do. And we can almost go to war with America. Almost. We're super close. Actually, now we can go to war with America. So in the meantime, let's boost up the budget again. Let's spend a little bit more. Uh, 
Get down just a little bit more there. We'll start losing a little bit of money. Panama Canal, Panama Canal, finish. The plan for the Panama Canal is completed. Construction may now commence. Oh, crap. Okay, now we're going to lose all our money. Goodbye, money. We didn't need you. Apparently. Efficiency so fine. I don't want to lower that too much. We can lower this by quite a bit. Lower this. Oh, we're not even going to use it. There you go. Oh, look at this. Expedition to the Black Hills. Rumors say that in Sioux territory, there are rivers full of gold untapped to this day. For the prosperity of our nation, it is best to investigate this, and so we have to at the ready a veteran Sam Copper to send, to send into the Black Hills. Nothing bad will ever happen here, right? Anything else? No? Oh, cool. Awesome. Let's get this army over here first. We'll make this another army. Oh, crap! Uh, what is this? Minority building restrictions? In an effort to assimilate our Central American provinces into the Confederate state, bright minds within our administration have come up with an idea to restrict the rights of Central American minorities, and others to construct buildings and own land. While this measure will be extremely unpopular among our minorities, it will most likely hasten the assimilation process. Do we want to implement the building restrictions? Assimilation rate goes up? Heck yeah! Let's discriminate! Oh, Jacobins. God dang it. Alright, so that's the case. Get everyone over here and... We're going to improve our guys anyway, so let them all come on out and just slaughter the, these guys. Oh, we lost 3,000. God dang it. I'm going to get at least one more then. And we lost 3,000 artillery pieces. God dang it. Oh, God, this is a slaughter. I hate these stupid... Ah, meh. Tensions in Texas. There are no tensions in Texas. They love us. The National League. Eight teams have banded to form a clean, well-run baseball league. The Boston Red Caps, Chicago White Stockings, Cincinnati Reds, Hartford Dark Blues, Louisville Graves, New York Mutuals, Philadelphia Athletics, and St. Louis Browns. Wait, how do we get Chicago? Yeah, how do we get Hartford? Isn't that in Connecticut? And Cincinnati. And New York. And Philadelphia. And St. Louis. Well, we have St. Louis. But, hmm. Well, whatever. Apache Raiders, all right, blast them. They use a dynamite. Forty tons of dynamite destroys the last barrier between the oceans. More than six hundred holes filled with dynamite were fired daily. In all, twenty-seven thousand tons of dynamite were used. Hey, we got research points. Let's use more dynamite, my friends. Dynamite never was a wrong thing to use. Pasta? Yes. Hundred years of freedom. Well, you mean hundred years of tyranny under their rule? Oh, we have elections too. Alright, well, whatever. So I'm making some good money. We still got some rebels to deal with, so we'll deal with the rebels, and then we'll go ahead and... What happened down here? Anger against the government? Yeah, it's, it makes sense. I guess you guys got a lot of rebellions going on around here. Well, they do a lot of Americans over there too, but whatever. Good. Better supply limits. Let's get some more army stuff. Let's go muzzle it up. These guys. It'll be probably pretty quick to get this one done. Alright. Are you guys headed out somewhere? No, you probably want to come over here, guys. Let's... Their strength in numbers. Oh, well, that's not looking good. Okay, spend a little bit more on these guys then. Bragging rights, thank you. Political campaign, conservative. Well, I want... Well, actually, these guys... Oh, they're still pro-military, actually. That's not too bad. But once we go socialist, we're never coming back from it. You know, take the course. Get more plurality. See what happens. Protectionism? Free sp uh, protectionism. Nice, nice. Gold in the Black Hills. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Custer reports back from the Black Hills with an announcement that gold in the substantial quantities has been discovered in the Dakota Territory. Prospectors, miners, and fortune seekers flock to the area. But troubling reports tell of strange howls and cries of them coming from the hills at night. Some say the Sioux are getting on going to the warpath. Or on a warpath. A uh, place up there is really, really nice to be. Oh, Italy formed! Look at that! Phase 1 completed! The Colbra cut in 1876 after the French handover. When the canal was finished, a total of 76 cubic meters was excavated, lowering the summit from 59 meters to 12 meters above sea level. That's our phase 2, that's fine. How many phases do we have? That's actually that's a good question to ask. Do you want alliance? No, okay. Well, they got the Pope under them. That makes sense, I guess. Who was kicked out of here? I can't remember, it doesn't matter. Nice. Alright, so do we have any spare armies lying around? Houston, yes. And Houston is infantry, infantry, plus this. That's good enough, so we need two more artillery pieces. So there's one, and then let's get two. Of course, not tensions in Texas. Nonsense. Farming output. 
increase with those guys. Great Republic. That's a lot of military score, but we got a good military score too. Cool. We are at war, and our army should be pretty good. Free trade. Eh. As cool as free trade is. I don't really need it for now. Alright, I think it's time for us to go back to war. And just in case, oh, that's got a, quite a bit of social support up there. And some liberal support as well. Let's save it, because we can. And let's go to war. I want to at least get Illinois, whatever. Or Cuba. Yeah, actually, we, want, we really want Cuba. They got a lot of population down there. Well, somewhat. Actually, wait, what happened to our... Oh, maybe we can't get the other... Ooh! Can we not get the other stuff just because we waited too long, maybe? Oh, that sucks, then. Can we not really do that? Do we not have a war goal to get everything here? At least take Maryland, I guess, or something like that. Call out allies. Um, France will accept, so I'll proceed. We go to war with them, but we're going to call on our guys individually, then. I don't remember who our allies are. In any case, I'm going to destroy America. As Ecuador as well, yeah. They will not accept? Well then, show your hand. They will accept. Brazil. Come on, baby Brazils. Oh, they love us. And don't forget Portugal. Uh, so, this... That war, allied, Ecuador, Brazil, Portugal. I think we called in everybody. Well, I guess we're going to go to Washington. Venezuela said no. Uh, Argentina, oh. oh. Argentina, Ecuador, eh. Mexico, of course. Pretty normal with Mexico going to war with us. But there goes uh, DC. Stock exchange, great! Just in case, send these guys up here. They might attack one of our guys, in which we need, will need to defend. Quite aggressively. Oh, you guys are here too? Oh, that's not bad. There you go. Good luck. And are you good on attack? Yes, you are. You're very good on attack. Oh. Oh. Oh, they spawned. Another. They must have mobilized. Well, let's see what the Americans could do. Yep, they're definitely mobilizing. We found some Mexicans. Nice. First of all, three many victories. If that's the case. Where are they headed to? Over there? Hmm. Spread us out a little bit too far. Request for privacy? Yes, that'd be good. Well, they are attacking right here. Okay, Venezuela. You want to come be an ally? Alright, then join the, join the war. Sounds good to us. Alright, so you're here, so come over here. And we got him. Nice. Just gotta keep an eye on everything here, because they do have... So more, more and more soldiers out west, so. A place in the sun. Our nation is one of the most prestigious great powers on the earth. From Richmond to far-flung provinces abroad or beyond. Our flag flutters proudly in the wind, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who dares opposes us. In celebration of our dominance and just reign, an appeal parade is being planned in Richmond. The question now that poses itself is this. Should we invite foreign dignitaries to this joyous occasion, or shall we simply conclude that no other nation is fit to bask with us in our place in the sun? All must see our splendor. That's a lot of prestige. Our isolation is splendid? No, 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 no. All must see our splendor. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. We killed off 27,000 Americans. As we should. Oh, they're attacking us here too. Um, head on over here, guys. We're still doing stuff down there. How are we doing over here? We're still going in. Not bad, not bad. You find them, you gotta kill them. Uh, let's see. One out of eight. Uh, ships are not really that strong. We lose some ships, whatever. Find them. Conservative and reactionary parties. Kind of saw that one coming. Go in, go in. As long as we get one more army in there, we'll be... Wow. We lost 4,500 versus 21,000. Not too shabby. Find them and continue to kill them. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, well, there goes our fleet. 25,000 have died. Very nice, very nice. Keep sieging them down, boys. You're doing a great job. Oh, we might need some support here, too. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. I get more, what, breach loaded rifles? Point assistance? Yeah, I'll do that one. Let's do that one. Looks like we're winning here. We're going to 
keep it maybe an eye on that one real quick. That's not too bad. That's not too bad up here. Conservatives have won. Good job, conservatives. Mexico. Cool, cool, cool. Are we actually winning the naval battle? K battle of Cape Hatteras. Killed off 8,900 more Americans. That feels so weird to say. Oh, we're actually losing this battle now. That's not good. Get some more numbers in there. So that's actually one of the battles that we're going to really struggle with, which sucks, but whatever. Head on down. Good. Alright, Battle of Pittsburgh. Not bad, not bad. Harrisburg. Hopefully we can take a lot more tiles off these guys. Let's see. There, War of Unification. That's what we want to see. Oh, we can pay reparations as well. War of Unification. Oh, we can take all of New England. Oh, that would be so good to get. But, I don't know how long we can keep this war going. Let's at least take Illinois. Illinois is going to be actually really good. Because... Oh, this is, this is really costly. You know what? Oh, you might just want to leave this. Yeah, just leave the battle. We lost way too many guys in that battle. Defense is getting stronger and stronger. So, oh, we actually won the battle. Go and repair for now. That's fine. All right. So keep you guys somewhat all sort of united-ish. Excellent, excellent. You guys go there. and Maybe you guys come up to this area. It's all right. You can make mistakes from time to time. Alright, so we're looking not too bad. Now we can send you guys all around here and take them all out like that. We do need to concentrate our forces in Washington, D.C. to kill them all off again. Factory throughput's not too bad. What's a war score, war score like for right now? 26% of the way there, not bad. Oh, what is this? Kelly's Irish Brigades. Did the, those cowardly Lincoln, Lincolnites tremble when they met with the Irish Brigade? While most Irish immigrants to the USA fought for the Union during the Civil War, some just instead, instead decided with the Confederacy, seeing perhaps the Southern Secession as a p running parallel to Ireland's own struggle to win independence from England. Cool. Mexicans? Not in my America. Well, I don't know. We're not America, so. Alright, so can we take anything else here? Battle of Pittsburgh is going quite nicely. Uh, can we propose peace? They would not accept that. Ah, uh, liberate Illinois. No, not yet. We gotta fully kill them off then. Full kill, full kill. Well, here he goes bankrupt. Makes sense. Whatever. Uh, what else are we doing here? That's too many guys for us to attack right there right now. That's fine. You guys stay right there. Another few thousand have perished. That's good. Uh, we want to keep some eyes on over here as well. So go this direction. Go to Cleveland maybe. Keep an eye on pretty much everything that's going to happen around here. Go to Williams. I'll go over here first. Kill them off. A wise opinion. Doesn't really matter. Oh, crap. We're losing over here, too. Well, we might need to peace out quickly, then. We'll see. Because Maryland would be nice. Actually, we take our capital back, then. Because we get that part of Maryland, too. Because they did mobilize. We did not mobilize. So, that's good to remember. Ah, good, 6,000 more died. Oh, we got back to Lexington, too. Alright, and they're probably going to attack us here, too, which is not very good. Far up here. Well, that's not too bad, Williamsport. That was a pretty good battle for us. They almost have the capital back, so we might be able to piece out quickly enough. No, nope. all right. Well, they want to keep going. Well, we'll go all the way then. We'll go all the way if we need to. Help them out down here. Uh, how good is John Connor? I'm not really sure how good they are. As you can tell, I'm tr definitely trying this without trying to mobilize. Might be a massive mistake, but we'll see. Come get some Baltimore. We we'll got some refineries. Very nice. Oh, are they attacking us? Yeah, they are. Yeah, don't... Oh, boy. That is not ideal, huh? Uh, Ecuador? Sure, that's fine. Get up a lot of Mexicans there, I guess. Cool, we got more attack now. That's good. That's good. Uh, I don't want to do this. I really don't. Mobilize, though. Look, man, I wanted an easy war against these guys, but it doesn't look like we're going to get it. I want Maryland, you piece of garbage. And I'm going to get it, whether you like it or not. 
Oh, they got Rebels now. What you gonna do? Oh, they got Dixie Patriots. Look at that. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Guatemala. Oh, yeah, you can be at the Southern Thrust down here, too. No? All right. Well, you're showing your true colors then, my boys. Hmm... And Chile, Chile, Chile. That is here. Cool. Great, thank you. Maybe, I don't think we can call the French it anymore. Nice. Williamsport is ours. Maybe we'll go back to DC. See if we can gra grab that real quick. This guy's really good on attack and defense, so. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, let's get this done. Good, we got that. Going to Washington. Kill them all off. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Oh, 22,000 more died. That's what you get. That's what you flipping get. Yeah, at this point, mmm... I don't know, they're, they're sieging us down quite a bit over here from Mexico. Hmm, 60,000. We mobilized anyways. Let's go in. I'm going full on in, boys. Screw this group. Are you coming into here? Huh. You want a piece? Go screw yourself, son. Go screw yourself. Uh, we can't get... That's too much war score. 52. Acquire a core. Uh, let's take West Virginia, then. The Congress of Berlin keep the Empire strong. Huh. Okay, that's cool. Keep the Ottoman Empire strong. Hey, look. I gave you enough peace options. I gave you more than enough. And you said no. So you're gonna die now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm taking DC. You wanted peace? You could have taken it. You could have had peace, America. You chose poorly, though. Oh, France? Oh, God. What are they doing? Um. Wait, what? Otaza? I'm not gonna fight these. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't do that right now, man. This is a good peace deal for us. But they don't want it, then they're gonna have Washington burn how many times? Not enough. That's right. Not enough. Nope. And what is this? Oh, enlist slaves as color troops. War is burning our nation, and soon the people will force us to surrender. We say nay. It may go against the core beliefs, but to win this conflict, we must allow slaves to be freed. So long as they're willing to enlist the soldiers. This may be a heavy price, but it is a price that we have to pay with in these dark times. Hmm. Sure, why not? We'll take them. They're good men. These soldiers just want a better life for themselves. Maybe we can work something out. Screw that. Let's go up here. Oh, you guys are up here too? Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, nope. Nice. Uh, send you guys over there. Look, either you come in the war and help us out, or I'm going to kill you off next time. Alright. Well, we're going through southern Mexico. Nice. Even though, don't worry about the west. Don't look at it. It doesn't exist like that. Go in, boys. Go in. Actually, you can probably all unify under one command. Got a lot of infantry, which is nice. Look, America, you could have done something about this, but you chose incredibly poorly. Industry, interchangeable parts. Let's get some clean coal, but we're still at war. Let's just do some military statistics. What is this? Immigrant deported? Happens. Happens. Morale plus 30%. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Why do they keep giving me this? You, you, you said no. You literally said no. I'm just respecting your wishes. Since guy's down here now. If you didn't want to have war, you could have peace out with us earlier. I'm taking at least West Virginia, so. Houston changes the oil. Nice. They got that back, but oh well. Ah, uh, head on up here, boys. How good are you in attack? He ain't too shabby. Battle South Bend, very nice, very nice. Head on up there. Ooh, no, stay there, stay there for now. Combine them all. Death stack into Chicago. There you go, not bad. Really not bad. 
We're taking West Virginia. Or we take Illinois. No, we can't do that. All right, let's at least take this one. There you go. Not as much of a war I really wanted to win or, you know, didn't get as much as I wanted. But that's all right. Of course, we're going to keep everything we get. we're going to gain. That's not too bad. We got Maryland. We got the capital. Or our capital, really. And then we got Wheeling. And West Virginia. We got more pops, more coal. Who else not to love? And we have this. We can... Oh. Huh. We can abolish slavery. Hmm. Do we want to abolish slavery here? I don't know, man. Let's go non secret balance. There you go. Our money supply is not looking too good right now. It's alright. What happens if we drop this a whole bunch too? We're losing a lot of money then. Huh. And what happened here? Move the capital of Philadelphia. As well as their demobilizing? Well, you deserve a lot worse of a fate than demobilizing, but whatever. Ah, let's come on back down to Charlotte and have a good old time. So we need two engineers and one infantry. Two or two artillery and one infantry. Two artillery and one infantry. Very good. Yeah, our armies are looking pretty bad right now, but that's alright. We'll, we'll fix them up. We'll soup them up. You guys are actually not, not too bad. I'll go to Manassas and you guys head down here. Wilmington. And you guys head to Staunton. Not bad. Could have been a lot worse. Money supply, not very good right now. God dang it, let's get another, can we get another election going? I want to get rid of this party that we have currently. That's pretty sad that Philadelphia is now the capital. And we got even more population under us. What do we have? 20 and a half million. That's going to take uh, several wars for us to get through this, but that's that's kind of okay with me. I kind of knew that this was going to happen, so. Alright, 2.7%. Uh, 3 points, that's not too bad. Uh, you're still not done. How are you not done with bureaucracy measures here? Oh, Montana. Oregon's doing pretty well. Yeah, that's good enough. California's pretty darn bad, though. Oh, baby boy. Alright, not too bad. Money-wise, it's looking pretty bad. But, at least now we're at peace. We can cut down the infamy a little bit more. So, foreign cuisine, pasta. We love a pasta. God, I gotta get rid of this party. But the post-war freedom? Now that the war is over, the question arises whether or not we should allow the slaves to be enlisted during the war to remain free, or send them back to working on the plantations. We made a promise to secure their freedom, but wars are a fickle thing, and some sacrifices have to be made for the betterment of the nation. Well, let them stay free, get more prestige. You know what? I mean, yeah, some of the slaves decided to fight for us, and we're kind of okay with that. So, as long as this doesn't abolish slavery, like, we still like slavery. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. But we still like slavery no matter what. Oh, we combined way too many of these guys. Uh, one. Cool. Alright, I'm going to send you guys over here to the west coast just in case this time, actually. Oh, uh, there's some hardcore anarchists. Or militant socialists. Alright, well, whatever. Good luck with that. Violent elections. Oh, there you go. Wow. This is unfortunate. Hopefully we don't have a rebellion here. That'd be really bad. One, two, three, four, five, one. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, we can go all the way up to Wheeling too. Oh, so nice. Cool. And you guys need to come to Charlotte. Patriots. And of course we're going to fight for our own country. That's good. Oh my gosh. They took out the Palatinate. Wow. Are you guys fighting so... Oh, why is Russia beating up the UK? What is going on here? Nice. Oh, wow. This looks really bad. This looks really, really bad. There you go. And America's still down there below us. Right where they should be. Alright, I guess we have to race Harrison. God dang it. That's a little bit reactionary surge. Very good. I'm totally okay with the reactionaries. Panama Phase 2 completed. Nice. Uh, construction of the Pedro Miguel Locks, 1878. We have no money. That's a bad idea to do that. I don't want to do this, but unless we change parties here, we're going to need more money. First Minister appointed. Research points modifier. Yes, yes. Get some more research points. That would be very, very good. Oh, what is this? Cucaracha slide. 
Picture showing workers digging a small canal through the Kukaracha slide, a mass wasting of almost 400,000 cubic meters of clay. Constant landslides delayed the completion of the Panama Canal by nearly two years. One third of all excavated material from the Colobra cut was brought into the cut by the landslides. Gosh darn. To war by Jingo, my friends. To war by Jingo. This is going to get us hopefully a lot of prestige. God, what are you doing, son? No, I can't do the Franco-Prussian War. I'm sorry, France. I can't help you there. That's a bit extreme for me. We just got out of the war against America. Oh, yeah. Well, increased relations regardless. There you go. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Why is it still going up? Is it because we have an election? Oh, we got violent elections. And we get deported? Well, things happen. Cool. And... Two more artilleries hopefully being made eventually. So that's fine. Oh, oh, they probably want to abolish slavery now, do they? Do we really want to do that? Putting in 50,000 lobbying for the enactment of this reform. Slavery allowed, but the people want what? So if you want to outlaw slavery, huh? There's less the, the voters. So slavery debate. There's one faith, one faith only. Cool. All right, we got that tech done. Very, very nice. Making us stronger and stronger. I'm going to go with social sciences. I know we can do other stuff, but we need to get more education here. Wigs. Eh, Brothers of the Revolution. Ottoman Empire. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, Adam to the Sphere. Nice. Very good. If you keep doing this, maybe we'll get some social reforms. Probably not. Oh, I was correct. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Um, I do want more population. I really, really want more population. Uh, let's see. 3% want that, 0.33%, trinket subsidies, trinket pensions, healthcare would be extremely good to get. I want more education though. Like, let's go get more simulation and education, and then we'll get some more healthcare. Conservatives win. A little disappointed with that, but whatever. Apache Raiders, but that's kind of where I thought we would go anyway, so I'm not too worried about that at all. Try to pay off some of the debt before we get too far. But that infamy just keep dropping, I love it. We have no artillery. There you go. Buy some artillery. Buy it. We'll go way down. Go down. Now we can't buy any more artillery. Ah, uh, ship through okay. We can load this too. That's fine. There we go. Making a little bit more money now. Cool. See, so, yeah. I'm trying to... The CSA... I mean, obviously, I'm not playing at 100% at probably efficiency where I really could be. But, you know, it is what it is. Do the best we can with whatever we got. Fourth most prestigious nation in the world. Fifth largest military... Not too bad. Forward, extra, extra, grand strike enrichment. Workers demand higher wages, extra, extra, grand strike in. A socialist newspaper named Forward has been published enrichment. It reports about various strikes, current news, and socialist movements in politics both close to home and abroad. There's no leftist bias. Ooh. There you go, we can do that one. There you go. No more loans. I hope we can cut down someone on, this on these tariffs as well, because that would be better to do, but... Integrated by force, so be it. Awesome. Another army's done. All the way even up to DC. Alright, you're next. Uh, let's see. One infantry and... One Grand Rapid infantry, huh? One infantry and two artillery. we go one. Two. Uh, what else do we have around here? Anything else? Tex te Texan? Wait, why do we have so many Texans up... Why do we have so many Texans up here? The Sioux Wars, with the influx of settlers into the Black Hills area. Conflicts with the local Sioux have escalated today. News reached us from the frontier that a massive war party led by an Indian whose name reports only giving as Sitting Bull has risen up in the Dakota Territory. Oh boy. Oh, there's a war in Wheeling, huh? All right, let's see what happens. Because I don't want to have super high tariffs, but we... It's the only way we can get, I can make a little bit of money right now. Nope, Mexico, you chose poorly. Wait, are you... you oh, you're War with America! Nice. Very nice. Apache Raiders, cool. More defense, bragging rights, yes. Active dies, very, very good. We're really at the minimum of what we need for stuff here. But happy 1879, everyone. Hope you have a great year. Nope. If you want to go down there, you got to give up your territory or fight for them yourself. Colonial discontent, you want to put that place ahead? We make no threats to that type of stuff. No, no, no. Ah, now they're mobilizing even more, huh? Actually, do we have any other decisions here? Let's see. 
No, it looks pretty normal. Very good, very good, very good. So after this, what are we going to do? Hmm. Oh, America's still up here, huh? And increase relations. Good. So we need to go to war with them again in 1879? Wait. 83. We have, we have until 83. And then this time we're going to probably take even more territory. It's going to be a slow grind, but we can actually probably take out Mexico as well. Um, how does that work? Because can we just puppet Mexico to reform the Golden Circle? All core provinces owned by the CSA. Huh. Well, we'll see. Just because it, it, it's going to take us some time to do so. But El Salvador? Can we take them out? Our relations are too high. Well, maybe we can take them out. Yeah, I... Ooh, that's a long booty time, though. Mm, let's give it a little more time. Control of, over Mexico. Yeah, America. Oh, we still soldiers down here. I forgot about that. My bad. You guys are doing okay, though. Hopefully you're doing great. Two wars with America in this episode. We could have done maybe a little bit more. Probably, actually, but hey, it is what it is. Ah, oh, Carlos Spain. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, alright. Temperance League, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Less militancy? Oh, I don't want her prestige. Let's get more prestige. That's alright. It is what it is. And North Andean Patriots. Well, there you go, guys. Good luck. And what is this? Yep, North Andean Patriots. And focuses. Uh, let's see. Ooh, malaria. Diseases, particularly malaria and yellow fever, were one of the primary difficulties during the construction of the Panama Canal. More than 22,000 were reported to have died during the French construction attempt. In spite of medical advances, more than 5,600 workers still died during the American construction years. What foul smell is that? A rotting flush. Oh, there we go. Georgia's done. Nice. Or no, Kentucky's done. Kentucky's done. And now, Maryland, you need some uh, intellectuals from Kentucky. Oh, Wisconsin's finally done. Thank God. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Or we're gonna get the bureaucrats in there too. Battle, very nice, very nice. Yeah, we gotta keep working on our military stacks. Social science is almost done as well, which is super good. So then, actually, can we grab the next one too after that? That one is in 1900. This was in 1880, so we're gonna wait to get these research points next as well. So, uh, wow, exploding. Uh, Tuscaloosa, I think. Cool. Nice. So we're going to wait for tech until we get to the next research point one, because I just want to make, build us up to get to that point. So I think that would be good to do. All right, not bad. Still building up more forces. Uh, sure, guys. End of the Sioux Wars. Sitting Bull and his braves have surrendered, and the Sioux have been defeated. While there will be future battles between the tribes and ourselves, the sharp edge of the Sioux nation has been now been dulled. Never again will the Sioux be able to muster a force of even comparable size, and the Sioux nation future will be resigned to their reservations. It is with some sense of mourning that we see the passing of this once great nation into the history books of a young republic. R.I.P. Rip. It happens. All right, not bad, not bad. We, I thought we did, you know, we even got, I didn't know Maryland had this much population. Actually, really nice. Up next, though, Chicago. This this is sparsely populated, I'm not really worried about it. Oh, oh God, I forgot about Havana. That'd be so good to get. Some, get some of that, and it's almost 1880. I think at this point, oh, Richmond, you're a lady. The growth of our colonies has turned Richmond into the constantly expanding cultural and economic naive of an empire. Every day, with every passing hour, people from every conceivable corner of the world we have made ours arrive in the capital, to court our ministers, to trade with merchants, engineers, and industrialists, and to experience any one of the multitude of fates that Richmond affords its visitors. Standing at Richmond Central, one can see all around oneself a small panorama of the world, here spoken any and all of the varying tongues and languages of the world, and smell both the scents and odors of faraway lands and the annals of the Confederate Empire. The year around 1879 will always be remembered as a golden age of Richmond, and may the memory live long. Awesome. Uh, El Salvador. Oh, uh, two high relations. God dang it. Oh, Japanese Dynam. Oh, the Japanese are invading Dynam pretty early on. These guys are not winning up here at all, are they? Well, they'll probably lose Mexico, which is fine with us. Cool. Albania. Nah, we're kind of okay. Well, let's go and do this. Cool. And we'll probably get bound up, but oh well. And I'll do that. Nice. France backed him. Oh, of course. Well, that costs way too much infamy. So, I think we'll end the episode here then. 
which I'll go back and fix that a little bit up for us, just because we can, and we get the third most prestigious nation in the world. So, all, overall, not too bad. Um, I think in the next episode, as we take more and more territory away from the actual USA, and we're still getting a lot of immigrants here too, which is awesome, um, as we take more and more territory away from them, we get stronger and stronger, so every time we go to war with them, we'll take even more and more from each time. So we want all, basically all the entire country, and eventually we will go to war with Canada, we'll go to war, and definitely go to war with Mexico, and I hope eventually we can go to war with China. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Croatia exists, and I guess I will see you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching, have a great, great rest of your day.